Hello, Sunshine, and welcome to a very special episode of the State of the Union podcast. I have had, it's, it's special because I have a great guest. I have a wonderful guest. Jadan Shakiri is my guest today. You know him. You love him. He is new to uh, the country and new to the league. He is less than a week away from starting his new adventure in the United States uh, with Major League Soccer and with the Chicago Fire. Welcome to the State of the Union. How are things going so far, my friend? Thank you. Thank you. First of all, uh, a pleasure uh, to speak to you. Also, you played also football, as I know. So um, uh, many, many years ago, back yeah. before you were born. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, no, pleasure to be here. I'm very excited uh, to know a new, a new country too. And uh, yeah, no, I'm very proud to sign for the Chicago Fire. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to start the season with the guys, uh, with the club. And uh, yeah. I'm now, really I, 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 I know some people are calling you Shaq. Can we call you Shaq? Is that OK? Yeah, yeah of course. Man. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. I always ask, you know, I asked uh, when Zlatan came here, I asked if there was a nickname that he wanted. Chicharito, when he came here, I asked, all right, we're going to stick with uh, with Shaq. Yeah. All right, Shaq. So here's the deal. Um, you are going to be in not only a new country and a new culture, but also a new league with all sorts of interesting challenges on and off the field. For example, you are starting the season off this weekend. You go down to Florida, down to Miami, uh, could be very, very hot down there. And then you come back the next week back to Chicago and it could be very, very cold. How much research and information did you have when you made this decision to come to Major League Soccer? No, I got uh, I got a lot of information before. Obviously, I was thinking about the the move and uh, look. I, I was always a big admirer of the major, uh, yeah, of the MLS, and uh, that's why it is is a dream came true to come here because, uh, as we know, many many top top players played here before, and as we know, the league is improving every year with uh, young players, new players, and uh, of course, with experienced players who are in their prime. So um, I'm really looking forward also to this challenge uh, against other teams. And uh, but first of all, I'm concentrated of Chicago Fire, who I want to bring forward uh, and uh, to bring, of course, the glory back uh, where it was before. Well, it's interesting that you say that because ultimately, you know, they spent a lot of money on you. You're a big name. After all that is done, you're a competitor and you want to win. And you are playing now for a team that has not been successful recently. And so obviously that's something that you want to be a part of. When it comes to on the field, uh, you have a new coach in Ezra Hendrickson. Where are you going to show up on the field? Because those of us that have watched you over the years, you know, many times you've showed up on the wing. Are you going to be more central? Where do you think we're going to see you doing your damage and being dangerous? <laughs> Man, I don't know if this is a good idea to tell it here because maybe Miami is looking here too <laughs> and the, the other teams. So, um, look, as we everybody know, I'm an offensive player who like, of course, uh, the number 10 role. But, of course, as we know, I played many many times on the wing. Uh, I just like to be uh, involved offensively and uh, yeah, to help the team with my passes, with my shots uh, and obviously to lead the team, uh, to help the young players on the field and off the field if they need me and uh, yeah, to bring this experience to this team and who I want to, to grow because as we know in the past years, they were not so successful. Um, and of course, I want to bring uh, together with my teammates uh, the glory back and uh, to bring more people in the stadium. As we know, we have uh, football, we have basketball, who are uh, in the yeah in the first rank at the moment than than soccer. So um, I want to change that then to bring uh, yeah soccer again uh, for the people and uh, that the people comes to watch us in the stadium and uh, yeah, to be successful. This is the most important thing for me. Sometimes to be successful on the field, you have to have things in order off the field. Have you found, for example, a place to live? At the moment, I'm still in a, in the hotel and I'm looking for some places to live, but uh, I really, so far, I'm, I'm really happy with the, with the city. It's a very nice city. Of course, a bit cold at the moment, but uh, <laughs> as we know, in Switzerland, it's the same. Oh, it's do you want to do you want to live downtown or do you want to live uh, in the suburbs? Where would you like to live? 
to be honest, I, I didn't uh, decide now, but uh, I'm looking for some places now, downtown, a bit outside of, of, of the city. Um, but of course, I, I'm, I'm always the guy who likes to live in the city because I want to be involved with the city a bit and uh, to know the city better. As we know, Chicago is big and uh, yeah, I, I need to, to, to see a lot of things. So um, yeah, I'm looking really forward also to this uh, off the field to, to know the city better. Have you been to any places yet to eat? Have you found some places that, uh, that, uh, that are comfortable for you that you like? To be honest, we were very busy and uh, I was jet lagged too, so I needed to sleep a bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I didn't have a lot of time because, of course, the season started now and I'm focused, of course, on the work. And uh, yeah, but there is there's going to be a lot of time to, to, to see the city and some good places for sure. So you're going to get a crash course in not just Major League Soccer, but soccer in the United States and in North America. When you were looking at it from the outside, uh, over the last years and looking in, what was your perception of the game and obviously Major League Soccer? As I said before, I was I was following uh, the MLS for a long time, you know, and uh, I, I checked always, of course, the time sometimes is not, uh, but I, I watched always the playoffs and uh, yeah, the, the, the finals. So um, it's not that I, I never, I don't have a clue about the league. Um, I know exactly what I want and uh, I wanted to come here and to, yeah, to help this club. And with, uh, of course, as we know, uh, George Heights uh, is a long, um, a long friend of me who I know from FC Basel, uh, who was also very, we were very successful in Basel and uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward really uh, with this club to to work hard first of all and uh, to to reach uh, the goals uh, what I want and uh, of course well, what the club wants in the near future. You mentioned George Heights, the uh, sporting director at, at uh, Chicago, and your past and your history with him at, at Basel. Does this deal happen without George Heights there? I'm I'm not I'm not uh, a guy or a player who 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 follows friends or stuff, you know. Uh, um, I'm a guy who wants to work uh, hard and uh, to to make everything for 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 the success and uh, probably it could be also happen uh, without George. But of course, George played a big role in this uh, in this uh, in this uh, yeah transfer and uh, yeah. In the end, uh, we were very everybody happy that uh, the deal uh, was done and uh, yeah to work together again and uh, to try to be successful again together. I know you're very new to the team and obviously to your teammates, but give me some names that we should be looking for other than Shakiri uh, going forward with this Chicago team in 2022. Look, so far, um, I, I, I've been in a few trainings now and uh, I, di I didn't play one game with the team yet, so was, uh, I, it was only from outside, but we have really, really talented team, young players who really are exciting to watch. You know, and uh, yeah, I, I'm, I was surprised how good the young, the the the, the American players are here in the Latin players, and uh, yeah, there are many many good players. But uh, let's surprise people and uh, let's see who 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 gonna surprise us. But the the, the players are very, really, I'm very happy that they are very talented and they, they they want to work hard, the youngsters, and this is also an important thing uh, because if you want success. You want, you need the hard work, and uh, as a team, you need to hard work to get the results. And first of all, and then uh, yeah, to get to the playoffs, you need a lot of things to to do very well. I'm assuming that you've been to the United States before, but what are some what are some of the cities that you're looking forward to visiting? Oh, to be honest, I I, <laughs> I didn't think about this yet because I'm so focused on the work and the, on the on the start of the season, you know. Uh, but like I said before, there are going to be a lot of times to 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 think about this. But I, I went to New York already, you know, with Liverpool. Uh, I went to Boston. Um, so privately, I, I, I couldn't go too much to America now. With COVID, uh, was also a bit of a problem because uh, at that time I wanted to go to America and then COVID came. <laughs> So uh, it was difficult to to travel with uh, with COVID in the in the states and um, yeah, but I'm looking forward to to see many places. As we know, we travel a lot with the team. 
we're gonna stay sometimes two three days there so we're gonna see a lot of things and uh, yeah i'm looking really forward to this too uh, your international career is continuing on. I'm assuming uh, this, uh, you know, you've already, congratulations, by the way, the uh, already qualified. What, what are you going to do in this year to make yourself better in order to obviously help Switzerland in the world cup in, uh, in Qatar? Yeah, for me, it was, first of all, it was really something special that we qualified because we had a strong group with Italy, a uh, big opponent and uh, competitive so I'm um, I'm really happy and uh, how we deal with we had also a new coach so it was not really simple to play this campaign uh, with the new coach and with his new ideas but we did very well and I'm very proud of this uh, team how they dealt with and in the end was the most, most important thing to qualify and uh, yeah it was an amazing day for us uh, yeah I'm really really looking forward uh, to my uh, I think third or fourth uh, world cup so uh, I'm going to be differently in the winter and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this too, but it's, it's, a, it's a long way, another uh, few months, you know, six months, more than six months till we play. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to play again with my country and to try to be successful with them too. Did you, did you discuss the move to Major League Soccer and to the Chicago Fire with uh, your national team? Yeah, of course, because uh, I was in Switzerland. I watched one derby in Zurich. Uh, it was a derby, and uh, in the stadium, the our national team coach was also there. Surprisingly, I didn't know. So um, yeah, he came to me, and we spoke about this. And uh, I was just in Switzerland to do the medical, and I uh, watched uh, on a night uh, this game. And uh, yeah, we spoke about this also earlier on the phone. So yeah, he's also very happy for me and uh, that I, I, I move on. And uh, yeah, for him is the most important thing to be fit and uh, to get uh, yeah games on my legs. And uh, yeah, uh, there is a long, long, long way till the World Cup comes, but uh, he wants me happy and uh, he wants me fit. That is the most important thing for him. Uh, a couple more questions, then I'll let you go. And one more about, about the World Cup. Obviously, this is a World Cup that's incredibly unique and different. You're a veteran, as you mentioned. You know what a World Cup is in the traditional sense. What do you think the biggest challenge is going to be for players that are going to play in a World Cup in November and December of a year for the first time? I think it's going to be differently because uh, we are not used uh, to play in the winter a uh, World Cup and is like uh, it's middle of the season I think so it's going to be differently I hope uh, there is not many many injuries at that time because uh, yeah we play before and then you have to stop and then you have to go to World Cup and then again you finish the World Cup you have to go again to finish the season you know uh, it's going to be uh, challenging for sure for, for the clubs for the players but I'm I'm really looking forward to uh, for for us it maybe for the MLS it's maybe a positive thing because uh, we finish the season hopefully end of the November not earlier um, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna go to the World Cup so uh, it's I think a perfect uh, yeah perfect uh, pre preparing for the World Cup for me. All right, a few more questions, and obviously people know who you are. We have watched you over the years, uh, you know, score goals, play well, play all over, play so many different places, have all of these different experiences and adventures, but you're also introducing yourself to a whole new audience here in the United States, and many people that maybe haven't seen you or don't know a whole lot about you. So a couple of things. Um, you, you mentioned you're still looking for an apartment. Do you like animals, and do you have any pets? Uh, I like uh, I like a lot of animals. I love animals, uh, but I don't have any pets at the moment. But maybe will you have it? Will you get one here in the United States? You think? I need I need maybe yes maybe I need to see really uh, if dog or cat. I'm more for a dog man. I don't know. You're a dog man. That's okay. That's yeah. cool. That's right. Uh, okay. Uh, you you mentioned uh, that you haven't had a lot of time to go to the incredible restaurants and cuisine that exists in Chicago. What's yeah. some of your favorite food out there? Look, I, I need to find out first what kind of restaurant, but I think there are pretty much a lot of restaurants and uh, yeah, I like uh, I like uh, really uh, Jap Japanese food. I like everything, Mexican food. We, we got everything here, I think, in America. 
Yes, even you do. American food is good. I think I need yeah. to try it. Well, <laughs> American food is everybody else's food. Let's be let's be honest. And you have it. You have it all there in Chicago. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, when it comes to music, do, do you listen to music? And if you do, give me some groups. Give me some artists that you like. Oh man, I'm. Uh, I like hip hop, R and B a lot. Um, I like the American rappers a lot. Uh, but I listen to Latino sound too. I like sometimes. Uh, at the moment, American rapper, I listen to Ghana. Okay. I like him. All right. Um, yeah. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Yeah, of course, man. Okay. Yeah. It was pretty. It was pretty spectacular half. Yes, no, it was it was really it was unbelievable. Nice, yeah. That, that was awesome. Uh, let's see. What about uh, how about movies? Uh, do you, are you a big fan of movies? What uh, what kind of stuff are you watching or have watched? Um, I like a lot of movies. As you know, we travel a lot, so we have to to watch some movies. Or I like a lot of uh, documentaries. I like also, but my my favorite really uh, movie artist is Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm -hmm. he, he had always for me really very nice movies good movies funny movies too and uh, yeah the, the the wolf of wall street for example there you go <laughs> there you go the wolf of wall street i watched too so uh, it was amazing all right well maybe in your american adventure you can hang out with leo uh you can go get some sushi with him uh you can then go maybe look to buy a pet uh, get, buy a puppy uh to buy a dog <laughs> while you're listening to some uh you know some uh, some r b and some uh, and some different stuff out there and some rap and some hip-hop that would be awesome all right uh yeah. listen w if you were to tell this is the last question here if you were to describe yourself to people out there that maybe haven't seen you play before in terms of the player that you are on the field, because ultimately that's the most important thing. That's what people are paying money to see. They have paid a lot of money for you. How would you describe yourself as a soccer player? Uh, I, I'm, I'm really one guy, the guy who would not like to speak about my strength and stuff, you know? I leave this to other people, but uh, of course, I'm a game changer. You know, I, I can decide games uh, with one shot or with one pass. And uh, this is also my goal with this team, you know, to, to help this team with, with, my, with my strengths, who, with my technique, with my free kicks. Um, yeah, this is my strength, I think, who I can help. I can, as we see many times, I scored some very nice goals from far. I shoot, uh, I have a good shot, I have a good left foot, and uh, yeah. My right foot is is okay only for my car at the moment, but sometimes it's <laughs> Just also stand not on. my right foot. Stand on. Yeah. Will you be, ta will, will you be taking free kicks uh, for Chicago this year? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I, I need to try also. I want to score again free kicks. And uh, yeah, we uh, I need to practice these two every day. And uh, this is also very important. Well, Shaq, good luck. Uh, welcome. I uh, hope it's a wonderful adventure on and off the field. I hope it's everything that you want. I hope you get that apartment. I hope you get the, that uh, that puppy dog. And I <laughs> hope that uh, you get the opportunity to experience not just Chicago as a soccer uh, uh, market, but all of the wonderful things that Chicago has to offer and the country. And let's be honest, uh, Canada too. So uh, good luck this weekend. You start out, as I said, down there against Inter-Miami for your first game. And then the people of Chicago, you can see your own Shaq, Jordan uh, Shakiri, with his Chicago Fire uh, in 2022 as they look to get back on track uh, at home in the following weekend against Orlando. Ooh, Orlando. All right, my friend, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Thank you. It was a pleasure to speak to you, man. All right, that was wonderful. Thank you very much to, to Jordan Shakiri, and thank you all for tuning into this special episode of the State of the Union. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops every week. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.